Hey there, everybody. Welcome to day five of our Healthy for the Holidays My Fitness Pal Challenge. For today's session, we're gonna take a cue from Peanut here and just relax, rest our body a little bit, but do some gentle stretching to help you improve your range of motion, just get a little bit more out of your workouts when it's time to really push your body. But today is all about just taking it easy, but keeping your body in motion. So let's take the feet wide. Just take a nice deep breath in, stretch this arm all the way up to the ceiling as high as you can. Really inhale, lift through your body. Now bend that arm, drop your chin to your chest, take your opposite hand, give your elbow a little hug towards your head, dropping your chin down, relax your neck. Keep breathing deeply, fully, and relax. Now just take a nice little stretch to the side, leaning away from that elbow. Slowly come on up. Take that top arm and let's sweep it across the chest. Give it a little hug with your opposite arm. Just pull that arm across your body, drop your shoulder. If you want, you can keep following that hand, looking back over your shoulder, take a little gentle twist. So make just sure that your breath is deep and free. You're not holding your breath. And probably the hardest part, try to keep your mind relaxed. Let go of your to-do list for just a few minutes. Good, release it, come back to the center. Let's take that series on the other side. So this arm stretches all the way up. Deep, deep breath, make your body nice and tall. Bend that elbow behind your head. Grab a hold of it with your opposite arm. Relax your chin to your chest. When you're ready, take a lean to the side. Come on up slowly. Take that arm across your chest. Give it a hug, drop your shoulder, and twist if you'd like. Good, now just come back to the center. Just let your arms swing. You can do a little crisscross in the front. Kind of think about shaking off stress, releasing any tension that you might be holding onto in your shoulders and your chest. Good. Just take a nice deep breath in. Open your arms wide behind you. Lift your heart. Exhale, round forward. Just bring your palms together. Inhale, do it again. So I don't know if you've been traveling for the holidays or maybe just putting in some extra hours at work or wrapping gifts, but we spend a lot of time seated, especially driving or typing or doing things with our arms. We tend to start rounding through the shoulders and slouching. So this is series. It's just a really nice way to open all those muscles that tend to shorten up across your chest, but then also to stretch across your upper back at the same time. One more time, inhale, open the chest. Exhale, round. Good. Going a little bit deeper now into those same muscles, let's start with the chest. So take your hands behind you, see if you can interlace your fingers together. If you can't, just bring them as close behind together as you can. Roll your shoulders back, lift your heart, lift your hands as high as your shoulders will allow you to go. Soften your knees, take a deep breath in, Lift your chest to the ceiling. Keep that softness in your knees. And if it feels right for you, start to hinge forward from your hips. Slowly and carefully, dropping the head at the bottom of that stretch, and just letting your arms continue to reach behind your body. Breathe deep. Good. So folding forward makes you dizzy or uncomfortable. You can just stay in that standing position instead and keep lifting your arms back behind you. That's Totally fine. Good, now really slowly, take your time. We don't want to stand up too fast. We're gonna lead with the heart. Coming up nice and slow, flat back. Good. And 
Take your hands right behind your hip bones. Extend back. Slowly come up. Let's do that one more time. Inhale. Good. All right. So continuing to work across that upper back, just face me. Take your arm across your body, grab a hold of your wrist with your opposite hand. I want you to round forward and just think of gently pulling that arm away from you, stretching across your upper back. Slowly come in, switch sides. So the other arm's gonna come across, gently guide that, L, that arm away by pulling at the wrist. Round forward, stretch. Nice, coming back up. Let's just take a nice shoulder roll here. Squeeze the shoulders up to your ears, tense everything, and then exhale, <sighs> let it go. Again, inhale, squeeze, and release. One more time, inhale, really squeeze. Exhale, release it, good. Now from here, just drop one ear over to one shoulder. Let your head hang. So you might be getting a nice deep stretch right here, and you can stay right here. But if you'd like, you could use your fingertips to just gently guide your ear a little closer to that shoulder if that feels right for you. If you want a little more, take your bottom hand, wrap your arm behind your back to press that opposite shoulder down a little bit more, creating more space. The side of the neck. Breathe. things get a little more stressful, a little more hectic, we tend to hold a little bit more tension in the neck and shoulders, so it's good to take this time, try to release some of it. Come up for a second with your head, turn your chin towards your armpit. If you're using your hand, you're gonna bring it to the back of your head and just gently bring your chin down towards your armpit. Don't yank on your head, just gently guide it down. Good, let's release it. Go the other way. Just drop your ear over. Again, fine to stay right here, or using the hand, gently guide that ear down a little deeper. Wrapping the arm behind your back if you'd like. Come up for a moment just to turn your chin towards that armpit, adjusting your hand if you're using it. Behind the head, gently lower your chin. Good, let's release it. Okay, so we're gonna make our way to the floor next. If you need to, feel free to add more padding to make yourself more comfortable. We're gonna come down to the hands and the knees and just move into a cat-cow stretch. So I want you to think of rounding your chin towards your tailbone, curling the spine, and then exhale, drop your belly to the floor, look to the sky. So inhale, round. Fill up the lungs, exhale, arch. Now, if it feels better for you to reverse the breath on this, that's fine. There's really no wrong way to breathe. I just like to exhale as we arch to kind of release the back a little more. Good, just come back to neutral. Let's get back into that upper back a little bit. Take your front arm. Lift it up to the ceiling. See if you can look up to your top hand. Take a nice deep inhale. As you exhale, you're gonna thread that arm underneath your supporting hand, bringing your shoulder blade to the floor and taking a nice supported twist. So you could stay with this. If you feel like you've got your balance and stability and you want a little more for the twist, you can take your supporting hand 
and wrap it behind your back. Try to continue looking upwards towards the ceiling, but relax your neck. You shouldn't be putting any pressure on your neck. Head just rests on the floor. Gentle twist through the back. Good. If you have your top arm behind you, place your hand back on the floor. Slowly, let's come back up to all fours. We're going to take a second just to reverse that twist. So now our back arm reaches up. Inhaling, look up to your hand. Exhale, thread that arm underneath. Shoulders on the floor. And just gently twist. So again, listen to your body. If you're good here, stay here. If not, you can wrap that arm behind your back to go a little further. Nice, let's release it. Come back up. And just go ahead and transition so that you're lying face down on the floor. And you can just kind of make a little pillow for your chin here. So we're going to stretch the front of the thigh and the hip flexors. These also get nice and tight if we're seated a lot. So bend one heel in towards you. See if you can reach back for your foot. If it's too hard to grab your foot from that position, you can modify by laying on your side. Sometimes that's easier to grab your foot from that position. But just really think about pressing your hips forward into the floor and just bringing that heel as close to your body as you comfortably can. Of course, take some nice deep breaths. Breathe, relax. Gently release that foot, change out your arms. If you're on your side, you're just gonna roll to the other side. Curl the other heel in. Again, think about pressing your pelvis forward so you really can get up into your hip flexor as well as the quadriceps muscles. Nice, let's release it from here. And while we're here, just bring your hands underneath your shoulders for a little support. Extend the spine, lift the chest, so we're engaging the back muscles, and also take a nice extension. Release it down. So I only want you to go up as high as is comfortable for you. You might want to just modify by propping yourself up onto your elbows and holding it. Or you can come up into that extension and then release down. Make it work for your back. Let's do one more if you're coming up and down. Everybody releases back down to the floor. Let's sit our hips back towards our heels. Extend those arms out in front of you. Take some nice deep relaxing breaths, just letting your chest drop to the floor. Good, let's slowly come up to a seated position. Now, if you want to be a little more comfortable, feel free to put a pillow underneath your hips if that works better. We're just gonna cross one leg in front, trying to bring the shins almost parallel to each other. Take a deep breath in, reach your arms up. Exhale, I just want you to hinge forward as far forward as you can. So you might be here today, maybe you can come down, just see what's happening through those hips. Another really great one if you've been doing a lot of traveling or sitting. Good, let's walk it up slowly. Taking a nice seated twist. Make sure you're lifting as tall as you can through the spine. Take your hand to your opposite knee. Using some leverage here, just rotate and look back over your shoulder. So making sure we're always twisting with a tall spine. We never want to twist with a slouch rounded back. Release it, let's go the other way. Hand to the opposite knee. Sit tall to look back over your shoulder. Nice, coming back to the center. Go ahead and extend one leg out in front of you. You can just keep your other knee bent. Bring your heel in as close to your body as you can. Just start walking out towards your foot. 
So you might be at your shin today. Maybe you can go to your ankle. If you can reach your foot, you might want to pull back gently on your toes. But think about keeping your spine kind of long here. We don't want to just round forward. Pitch forward from your hips. Getting into the hamstring. Just change out your legs. Sit tall. Change forward. Try to relax as much as you can when you're stretching. You never want to force your range of motion. Just let your body relax. Your muscles open into that stretch. sits and I want you to just take that seated position for me one more time crossing your other leg in front this time walk the hips back try to bring those shins almost parallel to each other sitting tall inhaling exhaling hinging forward emphasizing the other hip a little bit more this time maybe you can go a few inches further into that stretch maybe not that's okay too Slowly come up, let's take that seated twist one more time. Heading this way first, hand to the opposite way. Lift tall as you twist. And come back around the other way. Lift tall. Nice, and just slowly and carefully, we're gonna start to make our way up off the floor. So just bring your feet together. See if you can walk your hands of your feet just in a low crouched position. Take your time to drop your heels to the floor, lift your hips, you can keep your knees as bent as you need to to be comfortable here. Just hold that forward full position, kind of like a rag doll. Let's walk our hands on top of our thighs to support our spine. Slowly roll up through the back, stacking one vertebrae at a time. Let your head be the last thing to come back up. So I hope you're feeling a little bit more relaxed, a little bit more flexible than when we started. And don't forget today's daily tip is really all about managing your stress during this busy time of year. So be sure to check out today's blog post for a few more tips on how to successfully do that during the holidays. And give yourself a big pat on the back because we have made it through our first five days of workouts together. Remember, you can keep going through this rotation. You can add a few more over the weekend if you want to. Really just make it work for you. And remember, during this crazy time, something is always better than nothing. Thank you so much for joining Peanut and I today for this stretch session. And we hope to see you for another workout soon. Take care, everybody, and keep up the great work.